Hey everybody, this is uh, continuing on the whole lavender glow thing. That's a male lavender glow in the back. He's, uh, yeah, hanging out in the back. They've just been together for a few days, so. Uh, but what this is, he's in with an amazing looking uh, silver, which in its own right is another codom. And this is the one from the people that I've talked to uh, and just kind of let them know what my thoughts are on this whole thing. Uh, what I want to do. The silver, the silver when connected to the orange tail hypo makes a snake void of red coloration. Uh, thus you might have, you know, guys will see on some of the videos when I say bumblebee arabesque because it's an arabesque pattern. It's an orange tail hypo but with the silver on there and all the red takes a hype because usually an orange tail arabesque is a, is a very orange animal. But with the addition of the silver gene, it, it takes a hike. It goes away. So this is my thought on this project. The hopes are that the silver itself is a is a codom. The hypo and the lavender glow is a codom. So we'd hope to make uh, get some babies that are both hypo silver as well as a hypo silver, which will be a yellow and black and gray snake, all het for sharp strain. And hopefully the sharp strain that we're hoping for will be carrying the lavender gene. Uh, and I will breed these babies back to another lavender in hopes that we can make a lavender snake or a uh, basically the way the albinos should look in my mind it'll be a white or a uh, yellow and a snake right off the bat then we add the lavender to it which should potentially turn it almost a green so this is my attempt to you know, this is the first step, but down the road, hopefully, we'll make uh, a version of green albinos. At least some level of green, maybe even like uh, green uh, albino with almost bluish to purplish patterning on it. So that that's what this is all about. That that's why the silver is so utterly untapped. Frank uh, proved them out is what they are. Uh, time made, and time made, again, made several. Uh, he made the very first hype of silvers, which are just these amazing yellow and, and black and almost grayish type snakes. That's that's in the patterning, and they, the pattern with the majority of the snakes are yellow. And if we can get this lavendery color to lay on top of that, we have a good chance of turning that green. So you see them moving. She's looking like she wants to take a hike out the side, but uh, that that's this whole project. So people, if you don't have your silvers yet, you're really uh, missing an untapped thing. You don't need to spend ten thousand dollars on a project when they're still projects just because you don't think they may look cool. But they're, you know, one, one of these days we're going to get Frank to take a video of half the craziness of this place with the whole silver designers he's made. And but uh, th this is going to be a good one here if it works. Even if it doesn't, I don't think it's going to be a bad thing. If we don't hit the green, we might even hit some different color. Again, changing the way that uh, albinos look. Again, this is all sharp stream, so there you go.